the Jack Benny program, transcribed, presented by Lucky Strike. There's never a rough puff in the Lucky because LS, MFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And in a cigarette, it's the tobacco that counts. Yes, at the tobacco auctions, Luckies pay more, millions of dollars more than official parity prices to get ripe, light, naturally mild tobacco that guarantees more real deep-down smoking enjoyment for you. Puff after puff with never a rough puff. And remember that the tobacco experts, men who can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine tobacco, choose Luckies for their own personal smoking enjoyment. Yes, a recent survey shows that more independent tobacco experts, auctioneers, buyers, and warehousemen smoke Lucky Strike regularly than the next two leading brands combined. So take a tip from the experts and smoke that smoke of fine tobacco Lucky Strike. With every puff, every pack, you'll get more real deep down smoking enjoyment. Puff after puff with never a rough puff. Yes, light up a Lucky and enjoy a smoother, milder, truly finer cigarette. Make your next carton Lucky Strike. The Lucky Strike program, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. everyone. Yes, this is New Year's Day. And we're going to take you to the home of Mary Livingston in Beverly Hills. At the moment, Mary and her maid Pauline are straightening up the house after last night's celebration. Uh, now, Pauline, when you finish with the living room, start in the den, please. Yes, ma'am. Gee, Miss Livingston, that was a wonderful party. You sure are a swell hostess. Well, thanks. Do you really think my guests had a good time? Oh, yes, especially Dennis Day. I'll bet he never drank champagne before. <laughs> You're right, Pauline. He took one drink, grabbed a bottle of cat, poured it on his head, and yelled, Hey, look at me, I'm Red Skelton. <laughs> He really was cute, though. He might have been cute then, but when he caught me under the mistletoe, he was a mean little kid. <laughs> well, at least everybody had a lot of fun. Yeah, and you can thank your sister, Babe, for that. She was the life of the party. Yeah. She's really a card. That was quite a gag coming to a New Year's Eve party dressed in overalls. That was no gag. She had to go to work at 1 o'clock. <laughs> It's a shame having to work on a holiday. Holiday or no holiday, smudge pots have to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> but Babe was a lot of fun, and so was Phil Harris. Say, you know what? I don't remember seeing Mr. Harris leave. Oh, he never did leave, Pauline. He didn't? Well, where is he? You're standing on him. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Livingston, the way you tease me. <laughs> now go ahead, Pauline. Take those glasses out to the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. You know, it's a shame that Mr. Benny wasn't at your party last night. Was he ill? No, no, he was all right. Well, I know you invited him. Why didn't he come? Well, it's a long story, Pauline. and it all started yesterday evening at CBS. After our usual rehearsal, the entire cast gathered in Jack's dressing room to wish each other a happy new year. <laughs> Well, kids, here we are at the end of another year. And it brings a warm glow to my heart having all of you who have been with me so many years gathered here in my dressing room. Oh, Jack, that's sweet. I feel that I'm a very fortunate man to have such capable people and such true friends. Oh, Jackson. <laughs> Not only are we bound together in friendship, but the quality of your individual performances has been a personal demonstration of your loyalty to me. Well, thanks, Jack. So to you, my associates, as well as friends, I just want to say in all sincerity that I'm proud of each and every one of you. Last year, our hoopoe was down. He spit in our eye. <laughs> Dennis, now this is a serious moment, and I meant every word of it. Well, I think we better break this up and get started for Livy's party. Want to drive over with me, Jackson? Uh, Phil, Jack's not coming to my party. What? That's right, Phil. You kids will have to get along without little Jackie. I got a date myself. I got a date all by myself. A date? Yes, sir. In fact, I'm going to pick her up in about half an hour. Well, 
So that's why you came to rehearsal in top hat, white tie, and tails, huh? Yep. I look kind of classy, don't I, Phil? Classy? You look like the head pot man in a forest lawn flower shop. <laughs> All right, Phil, all right. Hey, Mr. Benny, who have you got this date with? Oh, she's a girl that I met just recently. Her name is Gloria. Gloria? Do we know her? What's she look like, Jackson? Uh, 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 no more questions. I know you're all curious, but I'm not talking. Well, so the old man is stepping out, huh? Phil, I'm not an old man. You keep saying that all the time, and you know my age as well as I do. Weller. <laughs> Weller? This is a word? <laughs> Weller? Jackson, if you think I'm hard to understand now, catch me at midnight. <laughs> Phil, that's when I'm my wellest. <laughs> well, there's no use trying to be sentimental around this gang. Hey, Dennis. How about singing a number before we leave? Yes, Dennis, sing something lively. Well, would you like to hear I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts? Oh! oh yes. 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 Come on, Come on Dennis. <laughs> Down at an English fair, one evening I was there when I heard a showman shouting underneath a flare. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Oh, there they are, standing in a row. Big one, small one, some as big as your head. Give him a twist, a flick of the wrist, that's what the showman said. How oh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Every ball you throw will make me rich. Oh, there stands my wife, the idol of me life. Sing and roll a bell, a ball, a penny a pitch. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a pitch. Right you are, mate. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a pitch. Hey, back home. Roll a bell a ball, roll a bell a ball, sing and roll a bell a ball a penny a piece. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step right up and take a chance. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. It's not going to cost you threepence or tuppence, but only a penny. And at the present rate of exchange, that's practically nothing. So step right up, step right up. Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Oh, every ball you throw will make me rich. Oh, there stands me wife, the idol of me life. Sing and roll a bell, a ball, a penny a bitch. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a bitch. Hey, hey, back home. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a bitch. Oh, roll a ball, a ball, a roll a ball, a ball. Sing and roll a ball, a ball, a penny a bitch. That was wonderful, Dennis. And the next time we hear you sing, it will be 1950. Right you are, Governor. <laughs> <laughs> now, kids. <laughs> now, kids, before we leave, I've got a little surprise for you. It's right here in the dressing table. There. How's that? Jack, a bottle of champagne. Yes, sir. I'm going to open it. We'll drink a toast before we leave. Don, hand me that towel so I can wrap it around the bottle. Here you are, Jack. Don't forget to loosen them wires, Jackson. I have, I have. Look out, Mary, this cork is liable to fly. <clears> hmm, <throat> <clears throat> this cork is awfully tight. Let me try it, Jack. No, no, Don, I'll pull it out with my teeth. I can do it. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jack, Jack, oh my goodness, he swallowed the cork, Jack! <laughs> Jack! Don't get excited, Murray, I'll pat him on the back. <laughs> it's out. Well, kids, now that the champagne's open, we'll drink a toast. Mary, here's a glass for you. Don, Dennis, now where's Phil? Now, he's over by the water cooler. I'll be right with you, Jackson. Phil. Phil. Phil, for heaven's sake, what are you drinking all that water for? Jackson, I got a long night ahead of me, and I want to get them chasers out of the way. (laughs) 
I knew you'd have a good reason. All right, kids, here's to a very... Come in. Well, if it isn't Mel Blanc. Hiya, Hiya, Mel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year everybody. Say, Mel, it was awfully nice of you to drop in. Well, thanks, Mr. Benny. And I hope in the coming year you'll be able to use me on your program. You know, I didn't work too much this season. Well, it's not my fault, Mel. I use you when I can, but after all, how often can I hire someone just to imitate Al Jolson? Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> you see, it's hardly worth it. Yeah, but I got... I got a wife and six kids. Last week, I couldn't even afford to buy a Christmas tree. No. Yeah. My wife can't, my kids can't go to school because they ain't got no shoes, and my wife is walking around in rags, and the rent is past due. Gee. If things get any worse, I'll have to sell my Cadillac. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I'll do all I can, Mel. Come in. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, Mr. Kittle, it's sure nice of you to come in and see us on New Year's Eve. Yes, I just dropped you by to wish everybody season's greetings. Well, Mr. Kittle, I'm having a party at my house tonight. Would you like to come? Oh, bless your heart, Miss Livingston. <laughs> but tonight I'm taking my wife out formal. And for this occasion, I'm renting a car. Renting a car? Where are you taking her? To Simon's Drive-In. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, Mr. Kittle, you're joking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well, Mr. Kittle, I just opened a bottle of champagne. How about having a drink with us? Oh, thank you, and I'd like to propose a toast. Here, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. A toast. Go ahead, Mr. Kittle. Well, here's to Jack Benny, who's just like good wine. He improves as he ages, but he stays 39. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kitzel, and here's to you. Thank you. Now, I'd like to propose a toast to every member of my cast. Mary, I'm going to start with you. Now, hold up your glass. Mary, you've been on my program almost 18 years. And, and, isn't that funny? There's, there's so much I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. Well, you don't have to say it, Jack. I know what you mean. And Phil? Yeah, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I want a drink for you, too You've been with me 14 years And Phil, sometimes you rib me a little But I love you And you've certainly gone a long way Thanks, Jackson You want to know something? There's no one who takes more pride in my being on your program Than my father Your father? Yep He knew it was always my ambition to be on your show And the day you signed me up I went home, showed my father the contracts and he looked at me and said, congratulations. It makes me happy to know that you finally reached your goal, son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said goal, son. <laughs> anyway, I thought you'd gone. Well, don't get mad, Mr. Benny. I just hung around because I want you to hear a song I recorded for Capitol Records. Mel, you recorded a song? Yeah, Toot Toot Tootsie, Goodbye. Oh, Jolson again, huh? Yeah, but this is different. If you just listened to it, you'd want to put it on your program. Well, okay, Mel, let's hear it. How about it, fella? Nah. Nah. Toot, 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 say, goodbye. Nah. Toot, 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 say, don't cry. The choo-choo train, the day. Away from you, no one can tell up that it make me get me to take and then ah, do it all for again. What for the man? I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you know I'm a child. <laughs> no cry. Come on. Pop, pop, poppin' away. <laughs> We're pop, poppin' away. <laughs> We're poppin' on tobacco. It's always lucky's round and firm and fully packed. So pop, pop, have one on me. Lucky, <laughs> 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 pay more. Pay <laughs> 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 million more. 
now. For all that fine and light tobacco we all adore. Ah. Happy New Year, we cry. And keep on smoking lucky. Very good, Mel. Mel, and you're right. I think I'll use that number on my program. Oh, thanks, Mr. Benny. Goodbye, everybody. Well, happy, happy, happy New Year, Year. Happy, New Year. happy New Year. You know, kids, he really did a great imitation of Jolson. How do you like the way he imitated the sportsman quartet? That kid's clever. <laughs> he sure is. Now, what was I saying before Mel did his song? Uh, you were drinking a toast to all of us. Oh, yeah. Don, you're next. Hold up your glass, Don. Don, as the year comes to a close... I want you to know that my association with you is a very happy one. You're not only a fine announcer, but a gentleman, a scholar, and a friend. Well, thank you, Jack. Uh, Don, how long have you been with Jack? Nine years. Nine years? <laughs> no, no, Don, you've been with me 16. Oh, you're counting the seven years you had me auditioning. <laughs> Oh, you gotta count everything <laughs> Anyway, Don, here's to you Good luck And now, Dennis Yes, sir Dennis, you've been with me almost 11 years I remember the day you first came on my program You were young You were naive But you had a beautiful singing voice And as the years went by Your voice became more matured More beautiful than ever And then, suddenly You blossomed out And now... Now you're a star in your own right. My show is better than yours. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, look at me. Yes, sir. Turn away again. <laughs> I know it's my own. <laughs> It's my own fault. Uh, Jack, mm. I've got to run home now and get things ready for my party tonight. Okay, Mary. Jack, are you sure you don't want to join us? No, no, Mary, not tonight. In fact, I'm going to pick my girl up in about ten minutes. Well, Jackson, why don't you bring her over to Livy's house? No, no, my plans are all made. Gloria and I are going to have cocktails at Ciro's, dinner at Romanoff's, and then dance in the new year at the Macombo. Yes, sir. Well, run along, kids. Have a good time at the party, and don't worry about me. I'll... Well, I'll answer, Jack. Hello? Yes, he's here. Who's calling? Oh, Jack, it's for you. It's Gloria. Gloria? Hmm. Give me that phone. Hello, Gloria. I'm all ready and raring to go. I'll pick you up in about... What? <laughs> you can't? <laughs> but, Gloria, I've got reservations and everything. And I'm all dressed. But look, of course I believe you. But gee, it's New Year's Eve. You gotta go. Oh, now, now look, Gloria, isn't there some way you can make it? Oh. Well, if you, you can't, I, I guess you just can't. So long, then. Goodbye. Well, what are you all staring at? <laughs> Gloria had a very good excuse, and she's nuts about me, too. <laughs> well, she is. Jack, as long as your date is off, how about coming over to my party? Yeah, Jackson, come on. We're going to have a lot of fun. No, thanks. I don't feel like going anywhere. Oh, come on, Jack. Don't be so stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I just don't feel like going. Jackson, sometimes you act oh, like... Oh, Phil. Phil, leave him alone. Uh, Jack, the party is at my house, and if you change your mind and want to come, I I'd love to have you. Thanks, Mary, but I'm going home. Where's my top hat and gloves? Oh, here they are. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, Jack. So long. Gee, I wish Jack hadn't walked out like that. It makes me feel awful. Yeah. Well, it's no fun for him being alone on New Year's Eve. Well, maybe he'd feel worse in a crowd. I forgot my cane. <laughs> There it is. Now, so long.
Happy New Year, Mr. Benny. Huh? Oh, oh, Happy New Year, Mike. Is your rehearsal over? Yeah. Then now you're stepping out, eh? No, I'm just going home. You know, New Year's Eve is just another night to me. Uh, good night, Mike. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Benny. And a Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mike. I'm sorry, it was my fault. Well, watch it, bud. Maybe on this side of the street it won't Hiya, be. Rube. Huh? Well, remember me? I met you in the store while I was doing my Christmas shopping. I was looking for my wife. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Say, Rube, your coat's ripped up the back. No, no, those are tails. <laughs> I always dress like this on New Year's Eve. Well, ain't you the dandy. <laughs> Please, I'm in no mood to talk to you now. This is New Year's Eve, and I... I know, I know. That's why I'm down here in the city. I aim to do a little celebrating myself. Good, good. <laughs> At the stroke of 12, I'm going to take a drink, blow a horn, and catch the bus back to Calabasas. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> if you want to join me, you're welcome. i got a little snort here in my back pocket. No, thanks. I'm going home. Goodbye. Okay, Rube. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I wonder why he keeps calling me Rube. He was kind of friendly, though. Well, I better hail a cab now. Gee, it's kind of cold. I think I'll stop in here and get a cup of coffee first. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like a nice table right here by the window? No, no, thanks. I'm all alone. I'll just... I'll just sit at the counter here. Oh, please come sit by the window. I'd like everybody to see how nice my customers dress. No. <laughs> no, thanks. Some, some other time. All right. all right. If you like to sit at counter, all right. Go ahead. Thank you. Say, you know, we got a special $2 dinner tonight. Steak, mashed potatoes, string beans, and for dessert, nice supper pie a moon. Well, if you sit by the window, I give it to you free. <laughs> No, no, thanks. I'll just have a cup of coffee at the counter. I don't know if I just want coffee or... Yeah, I guess coffee's enough. What'll it be? Coffee, please. Would you like a sandwich or some toast with it? No, thanks. Just coffee. Want a little cream with it? No, no, just black coffee. Okay. Here's your coffee. Thanks. Gee, I'm sorry about tonight. That's all right, Gloria. <laughs> Forget it, Gloria. But honest, Jack, maybe she'd work for me tonight. Mamie, Mamie, all the time it's Mamie. Could have let me know before the last minute. I'm sorry. I see you're wearing my corsage and on that greasy uniform yet. <laughs> I don't want this coffee. I'm going home. I'll be through at three o'clock. At three o'clock, I'll be snoring. <laughs> Goodbye. Always blames everything on Mamie. Mamie did this. Mamie did that. Mamie. Oh, taxi! Taxi! <laughs> Here you are, driver. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Who's that? It's me, Rochester. Boss, how come you're home so early? I thought you were going out tonight and celebrate. I was, but things didn't work out. Say, Rochester, I thought you were going out tonight. Oh, I am, I am. Well, had you better hurry? It's almost midnight. Boss, on Central Avenue, Father Time lingers till we get rolling. <laughs> really? Sometimes we roll right into February. 
Well, you can leave whenever you want to, Rochester. But what do you want to do, boss? Oh, I'll just sit by the fire and read a book and then go to bed. Oh, boss, I hate to see you all alone on New Year's Eve. Yeah, that's all right. No, it ain't all right. I'm going to stay home and, uh, and I'm going to be right here with you. Oh, Rochester, you don't have to do that. Sure, boss. We'll greet the New Year together. Well, if you... Hey, we might have fun at that. Have we got any horns in the house? No, we sold them. <laughs> no. Uh, we've got some Ohio State tennis left. We can wave those. No, no, they don't make any noise. Look, Rochester, it's almost midnight. You better run along. No, sir, I'm staying right here with you. All right, if you insist. I'll get a can of beer out the icebox and we'll drink to the New Year. No, no, Rochester. If you're willing to stay home with me on New Year's Eve, we're going to do this thing right. We're going to open a bottle of champagne. We're going to open a what? We're going to open a bottle of champagne. There's a cold one in the icebox. Now, hurry up. Yes, sir. Gee, it was nice of Rochester to stay. Maybe it won't be... Gee, it's midnight already. Rochester, hurry! Hurry up! Coming, boys! Coming! Here's the champagne, boys! Well, open it! Open it up! I am! I am! Here, here's the glass, boys! Good, good. Pour some in. That's well. Now, fill up yours. There. Well, Happy New Year, Rochester. Happy New Year, boss, and I hope we'll be together for many more. I hope so. And here's to it. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, should old acquaintance be Food packages have been improved and increased with more meats and fats that mean health to hungry children and families overseas. 22 and one half pounds of life-giving food for $10. Delivery guaranteed. Send your contribution to Nonprofit Care, Los Angeles or New York. That's C-A-R-E, Care, Los Angeles or New York. <laughs> Jack will be back in a moment, but first... Six tables. L-S-M-F-T. L-S-M-F-T. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Ripe, light tobacco that always smokes smooth and mild. That's why there's never a rough puff in a Lucky. Now, fine tobacco like this costs more. And at the tobacco auctions, Luckies pay more. Millions of dollars more than official parity prices for light, mellow leaf that gives you a smoother, milder, altogether finer cigarette every puff of the way. No doubt about it, friends. Luckies give you more. More smoothness and mildness. More real deep-down smoking enjoyment. So light up a Lucky and enjoy the mellow taste of truly fine tobacco. From first puff to last, there's never a rough puff in a Lucky. Good reason to make your next carton Lucky Strike. So round, so firm, so fully packed. So free and easy on the draw. Ladies and gentlemen, to all my listeners everywhere, a very happy and prosperous new year from me, Jack Benny. And from me, Mary Livingston. And from me, Don Wilson. And from me, Dennis Day. And from me, Rochester. And from I, Phil Harris. <laughs> he's not grammatical, folks, but he's sincere. <laughs> Good night, all. <laughs> Be sure to hear Dennis Day and the day in the life of Dennis Day. Stay tuned for the Amos Nanny Show, which follows immediately. And five, this is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.